Well, my name is Rob Santry. I'm here visiting Hans Campbell, and he wanted to uh, buy some Amiga stuff, and I filled my car with Amiga stuff. So let's take a look at what I brought. Holy crap! Where'd you get all that? So, a third of it came from the Medford Commodore Users Group. Um, he took care of it for, for all these years and he finally unloaded it and I couldn't get to his door quick enough so I got as much as he had. The, uh, another third of it came from the Hayward Commodore Users Group. Hayward, a pretty famous computer uh, town. Uh, I actually think they had a Commodore factory near there in, uh, in the Bay Area, San Francisco. I cleaned out anything Amiga related th that he had. And uh, so this is software I'm donating to the Hans cause. More software. <laughs> There's some videos here. So on the side here are three computers. Two Amiga 1000s. An Amiga 2000. Wow, my favorite! There's three keyboards. Oh my god. More Look software. Wow. And then uh, back and on then the table, we get on the table. something probably Look none of you have seen. That is an Amiga 570 CD interface, oh my which God. allows you to run uh, CDs on your Amiga 500. It's in the box with the manual, with the software. It's complete. Mm -hmm. And if if you're an Amiga collector like Hans is, it's a must-have. Oh yeah, I gotta have that. Yeah, so it's his now. We've already. Been there. <laughs> Not mine. It's his. Okay. So that's all I brought. Okay, I sure appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, I just want to show uh, real quickly some of the stuff that I got in this Amiga Megalode. I got a Commodore 1084 monitor in its original box. I've got a Commodore Amiga 570 in its original box. Those are very rare, very hard to, to come by. I'll make a video where I'll show that to you guys, no problem. And I got a couple of these Commodore modem 1200s. I just got them mainly for a display, for nostalgia. Nostalgia, you know. Got a, a Nika 2000 ROM switcher, I'll show that in, in a later video. Got a couple of SuperDrive 4x4s right there. And I also got one of the drives, I'll be showing them that in a hard drive video. And I got a Mega 2000 computer in really nice shape. The, the battery did not leak on the board. It's got a Rev 6.2 motherboard. And uh, I got an Amiga 3000 uh, keyboard with it. Got a bunch of Amiga software down there. And games, many games in original boxes. Got some more games um, over here in the original boxes. That's part, that was what's inside the Amiga 2000. I just took it out. And then it came with that GVP SCSI board with the hard drive. I probably saw that. It came with that Flickr Fixer Scandalber board. I'll probably wind up selling that. It came with this O30 board, Commodore O30 board. That's got the rare memory expansion on the back. I'll keep that. I'll plug that back into this Amiga 2000 when I finish refurbishing it. And uh, yeah, I got there's a really nice uh, Amiga 1000 keyboard in really nice condition. So I'll refurbish that. That stays in my collection. And there's the Amiga 1000. Oh, it's in really nice shape. I'll refurbish it. I believe that has a rejuvenator board in it. So I'll do a video, I'll show all that, 
I'll show the inside and, and everything, you know. And then out here, I got some tapes. I'm going to uh, capture these with a VCR and a video capturing board. I'll turn these into video MPEGs and the rest of the, I mean, when I'm finished, I'll give these tapes to my, Sean, uh, my friend Sean, Vancouver, Washington, so he can add them to the other Amiga tapes in, his, in the museum that we have up there. He'll get these original tapes. And then I got some software, you know, software there. Got another Amiga 1000 keyboard. It's yellow, but it's in good shape. It works. And I have uh, Amiga 2000 keyboards underneath all this. Uh, and these have the rare Space Invaders uh, mechanical key switches. As you can see on that one switch there. So I'll be refurbishing these keyboards. I'll sell them on eBay. I'll put them up for sale on eBay. That was Amiga 2000. Early Amiga 2000 keyboards, mechanical key switches. These came out in 1988. They're only available in 1988. And then starting in eight, uh, 1989, I believe, is when Commodore switched to the Mitsumi uh, keyboards. And this here is a rare... Um, it's a rare Rambo for the Amiga 1000. That right there plugs into the, into the side. Okay, and that sits on top of the computer. I'll, sh I'll do a video where I show just that, and we'll take a look inside and, and everything. And then I've got, that, that right there is a Genlock. I got some disk drives, including one of the original Amiga 1010 drives. I'll be selling all of these on eBay. Then I got some mice over here. These two I'm keeping, especially that Amiga 3000 pregnant mouse. I'll keep that. Here's my other Amiga 1000 computer. It's actually in pretty nice shape, too. It's just the keyboard is yellowed. Um, and then that right there um, is the Starboard, or see, Micronics, uh, well, I think it's got the memory board in it and everything. That plugs into the side of the Amiga 1000, so, yeah. But, yeah, I think I, I did pretty good in this, this haul. And I got a bunch of magazine discs down there, uh, right down there with Amiga CDs, and I think there's another game in here or something, let's see, Vampire's Empire, I'm pretty sure the disc and stuff is in there too, okay, got that, I think the, the joystick is in one of the boxes, but yeah, just wanted to show what I got today, a yeah, super modem, I just got this for display, because I used to use a modem just like this back in the day. It's just missing the button. I have to get another button for it. And then this here is a complete kitchen sink. I'll probably just sell this on eBay. even has the controller box with it. It's got the controller box. Um, let's see, it's got the external uh, box that goes with it right there so yeah yeah anyway I don't want anything happening to that but yeah I think I did pretty good I think I, I did pretty good yeah Anyway, that's it for this particular pickup video. Stay tuned for, uh, I'm, there's going to be a lot of videos, separate videos coming up on a lot of this stuff that I got today. So stay tuned for all these upcoming videos. I definitely want to do a video on that. Commodore Amiga 570. Definitely want to, I've never seen one in the box before like that. So I definitely want to do an unboxing and I want to show that hooked up to one of my Mega 500 computers. And, yeah. 
I'm going to show the inside of a super dry 4x4. I'm going to show what's inside there. I'm going to show what's inside both of those drives. The, the bottom one's for the Atari ST. I'm also going to show the Megafile 30. That's a mega chip. I'll be selling that. And uh, yeah, and that Amiga 1000 down there is in really nice shape. Like I said, that's got a rejuvenator board in it, so I'm definitely going to show that. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. My name is Hans George Campbell, and stay tuned for more exciting content here on the Hans Campbell Show.